Okay, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. And double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutation you Akim out there that's pushing this world in truth and in sincerity. Hey Amen. This is going to be a Great Millstone to the point. And without further ado, I'm going to get straight into these scriptures. This is, um, this is, um, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. How can you find the words of the Most High? How can you find? How can you seek the? How can you seek the Most High? Do His prophets that's out there on the highways and the byways, started with the apostles, on down to the elders and the men and the teachers out there that's pushing the word of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah on the highways and the byways. Also, do the videos that's being pushed from Great Millstone week in and week out, man. Because brothers is flooding the internet. With all kind of scriptures, man, all kind of lessons being brought out, man. Watch me approaching the end of the, of the age of Esau. And this world is being spread throughout the four corners of the earth through the internet, man. So there's no excuse, man, for a Negro to claim he never came across a great millstone video or any other camp's video that's out there pushing the word, man. Because we are flooding the internet. With all kind of videos And there's all kind of camps out there Throughout America Also Throughout the, the world man So there's no excuse man So you should seek the Lord While he may be found While you see his prophets on the street There's going to come a time Where Yahweh Yahweh Shah is going to withdraw his prophets And that's when all hell going to break loose It says Back in Isaiah chapter 55 verse um, 6 Seek ye the Lord Yahweh While he may be found Call ye upon him While he is near Meaning calling upon the name of the Most High Putting up prayers You know Calling upon the name of Yahweh While Yahweh shall In truth and in sincerity Putting up your prayers Going out to the Yahweh's in the byways Putting up your prayers For the spirit to be on you To go out there and teach this word You understand what I'm saying? Because We're approaching the time where The most high is going to withdraw his prophets For you Negroes out there Hispanics, Native Americans To seek the most high To seek the Lord Yahweh Why Yahweh shall Why he may be found man Why his prophets are on the highways and the byways Pushing the word man because it's going to come a time with the most, with the most high Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is going to withdraw his prophets. It says, verse 7, Isaiah 55, verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way. You wicked ass Negroes, especially Native Americans that's, that's out there committing adultery, being gangbangers, forsake all that bullshit and seek the most high Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, if you're a part of the elect. Because if you're a part of a two thirds club, you're going to continue your wickedness and continue to be blind until them nuclear missiles come destroy your ass, man. Or before them nuclear missiles destroy your ass, you get caught up in a concentration camp, die by the famine, die by the sword, by the way of the hands of Esau or another wicked ass nigga such as yourself. So it says, let the wicked forsake his way if you're a part of the elect, you're going to forsake this world and come into the knowledge of the truth, man. It says, and the unrighteous man, his thoughts. All the wicked thoughts that come in your mind, man, you got to erase that, man. You got to become a new creature, man. You got to be born again, you know, spiritually, man. With the renewing of your mind and think of these scriptures, man. Day in and day out, man, I ponder upon scriptures, man. Day in and day out, I give praise to Yahweh Why Yahweh Shah, man. Why? Because I'm seeking to be saved, man. You know? I'm salvation, man. And I'm quite sure you I came out there feel the same way I feel, those that sincere. And it says, um, Isaiah 55, verse 7. Let the wicked 
forsake his way. Talk about the, you wicked ass Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans. That's a part of the two thirds. And the unrighteous man, talk about the two thirds also, his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him and to the to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. If you come back into this, if you come back into the fold and acknowledge that you're an Israelite and call upon the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity, the Most High is going to pardon all your iniquities, man. If you be if you be a part of the elect. Like I said, man, we're approaching the time where Esau, the so-called white man, is going to start showing his horns. The Most High Yahweh is going to allow Esau to show his horns. Hence, Jacob's trouble. The second book of Ezra 15 and 16. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Daniel's 12 chapter 1. Just like it, Daniel, the 12th chapter, the first verse on down, man. You see what I'm saying? Jacob's trouble is fastly approaching. But you Negroes and Spanish Native Americans, you're not looking to seek the Lord, Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh, Shah. You're looking to the ways of Esau, the so-called white man. You're drinking that Babylon juice because, because Donald Trump is saying it's going to make America great again. Because you're a part of the two-thirds, man. And the same spirits was back then in the time of Yahweh Shah. It's the same spirit today. Because there's something called reincarnation, which is in the scriptures. So this is going to be my, you know, this is the last scripture real quick. Then we'll close it out. Because this, this is a great millstone to the point. So um, this is um, Isaiah, the, the um, 33rd chapter. Isaiah 33 verse 6 it says and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times understanding the prophecies understanding what's going to come to pass understanding that we're at the age the end of the age of Esau understanding and measuring the times second um second Ezra 91 measure thou the time diligently in itself man And you see these prophecies come to pass. Know that we, the Most High is beginning to visit the world in which he made. So it says, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability. Let me read it again. Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Amen. Because understanding the prophecies, no one's going to come to pass. No one's coming down the pipe. You're going to be stable, man. If Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah is dealing with you, you understand what I'm saying? You understand what the scriptures are saying, man. It says, And knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of the times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Amen. Fear in the Lord, man. Going out there in the harbors and the bowers, man. Why? Because we fear the Lord. Going out there in the harbors and the bowers, doing that which we were commanded to do, man. Which is to push this world. In season, out of season. Push this world. Do the internet, man. You see, the thing is, we don't have a large audience when we go out there in the harbors and the byways, so we prophesize it to the wind. But we going live. So this world is being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Why are we going live? Because any man could tune in. If you in Trinidad, Japan, Czechoslovakia. Zimbabwe, China, Australia, you could tune in, man, because it's live, going viral. Thanks to the World Wide Web, the unicorn at the most high gave Esau so we could push his word. So we know that knowledge and wisdom is going to be the stability of the times, man. So with that, I hope you Akimate was edified. This great millstone to the point went kind of long, but hey man, it was a spirit. So with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.